dear friends welcome to analyzer instruments so in this video we will be checking how to do manual calibration of ametec and adam 33 h2s analyzer most of you guys are much familiar with the analyzer so we will be directly jumping to how to do the manual calibration of this analyzer open the software open man 33 configurator software and uh, connect so in this one, I will be using demo version of the software and make sure you are a click enable and live data. Once you have been a live data, you can able to directly uh, see the live data from the analyzer. So now I will unclick this live data so we can see this is the demo version. So some of the options may be a little different in the live versions. Before doing the manual calibration, Make sure your uh, cylinder is open and all the associated walls are open and uh, take the safety precautionary actions. And uh, this steps may be little different from our manual. So just go through the user manual for more reference. Before starting the calibration, make sure you are all both lamps. Means, uh, there are two lamps. Both lamps are working fine and no need of any replacement. If the lamp signals are a little weak, so this is a lamp signal, maybe a little different from your uh, working analyzer. The signals are good as per some signals may be weak. So we will go ahead and uh, look how to do the manual calibration. You can see if there is any uh, error condition here, you can able to see like a lamp faulty or ALC warning or any other uh, related alarms uh, you can able to see here. If you see any alarms here, just refer the user manual for more information. So for manual calibration, now we will go to the setup, gas calibration and you can see the flow control, now it is in auto. So this one you have to change it to zero so once you change it to zero press ok and apply a dialog box will appear here either you have to change to vprom or no just press no once you change the flow control into zero so you can see the cal end will be minus one and the next column switch will be also minus one like this so blur image you can see very clearly while doing the checkup. Now you can see both are minus one minus one. So wait until the reading gets stabilized and make sure your reading is to zero before calibrating the analyzer. Make sure there is no alarm and your analyzer is zero. Once you can make sure the reading is zero then you can go to the next step of calibration for manual calibration same go to the gas calibration press zero here and then press ok and then apply same if you want a dialog box is up here either you have to change it or not press no so uh, once you initiate the manual calibration from the software, this one host state will change from operational to performing manual. So it is performing manual means it is calibrating the manual calibration is undergoing. So now we can see here the cal end in 158 seconds. It will be totally different from each and every analyzer. So the calibration timing will be different from the analyzer. For more uh, information, please refer to the data sheet provided by the vendor at the time. So now we can see the next column switch is minus one. So it means the calibration is going on. And you can see here also the solenoid is zero. The zero solenoid is activated here. So once you complete the calibration, once you 
once you complete the calibration, the cal end will be minus 1. And the next column switch will also in minus 1. So after the calibration completed, you have to put the, uh, take back the analyzer in auto. Same, go to gas calibration, flow control, make the flow control to auto. Do not switch or column A or B, press auto. Because if you click E column A, only column A will be going on or running. So we will not have the any changer between column A and column B. Press auto for the column changer. So it will be done automatically. Okay. And apply. If you have done any changes, press yes. Or else press no. In the dialog box will appear here. Once you complete the manual calibration and you, when you take it in auto, So now can <clears throat> now you can see the cal end will be minus one and next column switch will be 116 and the column timing will be totally different from each and every analyzer. Refer to the user data for more information about the column timing and everything. So now we can see column A is running. After completing of the second, the column B will B will be taking over. And then it will be go, keep on running. And make sure all your bench temperature are at the set point. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to Analyzer Instrument YouTube channel for more in the interesting video like this. And if you want this video in any regional, Indian regional languages, please mention below. So we will be try to make you more interesting videos in our regional language also. Thank you for watching the video.